Hi guys, good morning. Um, it is eight o'clock this morning, and it's a nice cool day. The sun's not out today. It's winter. Today is my birthday, and I'm so excited for it. I'm going to be spending the majority of my birthday alone today, but I'm actually really excited about that because it's a special birthday. It is my first birthday pregnant and it's also my last birthday before I become a mom, inshallah. So it's quite a big birthday and I really like to reflect every year on my birthday because it happens to be halfway through the year, my birthday. Today is the 14th of June and since it is halfway through the year, I really like to reflect back on my New Year's resolutions <laughs> that I made in the beginning of the year. And I would like to see where I'm at, you know, how my year has been going so far, what more would I like to accomplish in this year, and what am I grateful for, things like that. So I just like to have a deep, meaningful conversation in my head with myself. So I'm really excited for today to be able to do that because I have the whole day to myself, which might become a rare thing quite soon, you know, in a couple of months' time. It might not be, it might be very, very rare, almost impossible for me to ever be truly alone again. So that's why I'm actually really happy to be on my own this year. I have a lot of things planned. Um, I do have a waxing appointment at half past nine. So I'm going to have to leave in about an hour. Um, and I just want to tidy up and clean up the house a bit before I get home. And then after my appointment, I can have a nice breakfast. And then I'm going to go ahead and pamper myself. We're going to do everything possible in terms of the pamper world i don't know i would just like to document this and have it one day in the future for me to look back on it's kind of like a little diary entry of what's going on in my life at this point and i would love to see what it would be like to look back on it and be in a completely different stage of life and you know just reminisce and see where i was at so this video, this vlog is going to be very raw. I'm going to talk about, you know, deep feelings. So stick it out if you want to. Um, seems like Piper is the really needy today, again. So there's no doubt that she's going to be in the video for most of it. Um, I do have a cake that I was busy baking for myself and then tonight I do have a date with my boyfriend, husband. Uh, this is why I don't normally vlog because it's just such a hassle having to put the scarf on. I don't normally walk around in the comfort of my own home with a scarf on. So. <laughs> Papa? I think we're going to play some music while we work. Hmm? I think we should play some music. We're going to do some classic Taylor Swift <laughs> piece from the folklore album. Yeah. 
yeah listen really quietly i don't know if it stopped but it started today Okay, so don't judge me, but my kitchen is a huge mess because I was baking yesterday. I baked myself some cupcakes and a like mini cake and I'm gonna ice it today. I iced the cupcakes a little but I need to ice the cake. I'm almost needing to leave because it's, I need to go to my appointment. So I'm just gonna pack away the dishes and then I'll clean it when I come back later. Maybe after breakfast, I'll have breakfast first. but. I'm so scared to show you my kitchen. It's so messy. And also, I really love to play music while I clean and kind of romanticize the mundane. Uh, if you guys saw, I made a whole video about that and I still really love to do that. And now that the baby can hear my voice, I really love to sing as well while I clean. But you guys are not gonna hear that. I don't know ugh, how badly I sing, so yeah. I. That's what I'm doing right now, but I think I'm gonna leave soon for my appointment. Okay, so I just came out of my waxing appointment and oh my goodness, I feel so good. I feel so refreshed and like, like a new woman, honestly. I'm going to pick up a mask, face mask, for my little facial that I'm going to do. It is now quarter past 10, so breakfast is running away from me. Okay, so I am back from the mall. I'm going to make myself some breakfast. I'm really thirsty, so I'm going to drink some water and have a snack and then we can get on with the makeover. Okay, so I am finished cleaning the kitchen. Look at my beautiful clean kitchen. Now that I'm done in the kitchen, I'm just going to wax my lip and my chin. And then I'll show you guys what I do for that. And then I'm thinking after that, I will get in the shower and I'll do my everything shower. Okay, so I have my hot wax, my sugar wax here. And I heated it up in the microwave. And now I just put it on where I need it to be. Sorry if I look at the um, viewfinder often because I just need to see if I'm in frame. <laughs> you know, vlogging isn't that natural to me yet, but I know you guys really enjoy vlogs and I enjoy them too, so uh, they just take a lot of effort to make, which I'm willing to do. Um, it looks quite funny, <laughs> but I have my waxing strip and I'll just place that on there and I'll it up. It's really simple, really easy. I don't know if it's TMI to show you this but that's the hair that came out. So it works quite nicely. I like to massage the wax into the skin 
so that it can come up nicely. Hmm. Nice. I don't know if you can tell the little hairs that came out. Well, I'm happy with that and I'll just tweeze out all the stubborn hairs but not looking too bad. See I have like just a few here on the corner that I need to tweeze. So, so far this birthday is actually turning out really nice because ever since I got pregnant, like especially in the first trimester, I was so sick that I never really um, like prioritized my um, wellness and you know just like uh, grooming myself, pampering myself. I never prioritized that because I was just so sick. And I've been really distracted with work and stuff. So I feel like I really needed this. What I feel like a lot of today and this particular birthday is about, um, is about like contemplating my thoughts on becoming a mother soon, which can be uh, really daunting and overwhelming at times. I know it's very easy for mothers to lose themselves in motherhood because we are so nurturing and so caring that we tend to give our children everything, like we give our children everything of ourselves. Babies especially are very dependent on their mothers, especially in those younger years. And I do want to give my child everything that I could possibly give them. However, I also want to prioritize myself and my mental health, my physical health, grooming, peppering myself. So I actually kind of thought that I lost myself there for a while. Also like when you're pregnant you just want to be comfortable so I don't even dress nicely. I, I don't dress nice for my husband, I don't look nice a lot of the times. Um, if you see like my some of my videos I, I, I will even put a minimal effort into looking well and so I just want to you know make sure I keep up that effort and that habit of grooming myself and self-care you know it's very important. Okay, so right now I'm just I'm stopping for a quick snack. I'm snacking on a cupcake, a birthday cupcake and a nachi. And I know it's kind of opposite like healthy and not healthy. But I don't really care what's healthy and not healthy today. It's my birthday. I'm going to be eating cake. I'm going to make myself a cake. And I'm going to eat more cake. I love cake. Um, but I do crave a lot of fruits in my pregnancy, which is great because it's all healthy stuff. And I just try to add that extra fruit, like maybe a nachi or banana or something a day because to get that extra calories in. The beginning of my pregnancy I was um, losing quite a bit of weight and that kind of worried me, although I shouldn't have been worried because I was throwing up so obviously I would have lost weight. But I'm really proud of myself. My nurse is very happy with my weight and in the last week I gained 2.3 kilograms which is insane when you're pregnant if you think about it so um yeah i don't normally i don't eat for two i don't feel the need to eat more in fact i eat quite small meals more often during the day because it's easy for me to get hungry but when i get hungry i don't like to really fill myself because then that makes my acid reflux worse so the doctor recommended I should eat smaller meals more frequently during the day. That's why even though I just had breakfast, I only had one slice of toast with the egg in the middle. So that was a small breakfast and then I just had breakfast but I'm going to have a snack now again. And so I'll just get those extra calories and sweetness in. Mm. While we're here, I just want to quickly run you guys through my shower routine because obviously being modest I'm not gonna take you into the shower but I love those videos where the girls are like in the shower shaving doing their thing washing the hair I just love watching them but anyways um my shower routine starts with a body scrub well actually I start with my hair whatever conditioner or products I use in my hair they normally run down my body and I want to kind of wash that off at the end. I'm first going to brush my hair out now while I'm snacking and then I'm gonna go in with the Alviv Nourishing Shampoo. That's the shampoo I use and yes it's a small bottle it's just me. I, I, I 
takes me quite long to get through. Then I go in with Dove Intensive Repair Conditioner. And then I like to leave that in for a few minutes while I do a body scrub. And so for my body scrub, I just do a homemade body scrub in here. I've got coffee for the, you know, the exfoliating properties. We have honey, turmeric for the brightening properties and a little bit of, I add a little bit of sugar and lemon just for that brightening um, properties as well. Uh, just before I go into the shower because obviously the sugar and the lemon juice kind of waters it down a bit So that is the kind of consistency of my homemade body scrub I honestly don't know what I'm doing I just mix in ingredients that I know is good for your body And then after my body scrub I rinse the conditioner out of my hair And then I go in with this Dove hair mask It's intensive repair treatment mask and it is amazing and i'm also almost out of it i'll show you guys like literally there's nothing in there besides that little bit at the end and i'm so sad because i haven't been able to find um another one of these lately in the shops like i think i have to really go and look for it i stole this from my mom so this hair treatment though leaves my hair feeling so luscious when i come out of the shower even like after my blowout i really notice the difference when i use the hair mask versus when I don't. So I only use it like for special occasions, like for that everything shower when I really want to pamper myself because I know that I'm running out of it. So while my hair mask is sitting and doing its thing, that's when I go ahead and shave. I hate shaving and I never even used to shave for years and years before I got pregnant now but with the pregnancy as I said it's just really difficult for me to like reach down and bend all the time so I just do my legs and my underarms with the shaver um, it, I use the chic razor chic yeah because I think that this is the best one out there they are more expensive than the others and I always keep this in a dry place so that my blades don't get um, rust on it and I try to keep it as healthy as possible for my skin because my skin does not react well to the razor and I use a conditioner as my you know, shaving cream, as my lubricant while I shave. So that's the shaver and then after I'm done shaving, it's been quite a while now, the hair mask sitting in my hair so then I will rinse that out. I'll clip my hair up so now my hair is completely done and then I'll go ahead and do my body. So after my, my body scrub, my shaving, everything's done. And then I will wash myself with the normal soap that I wash, but then I'll go in and do a double cleanse with some shower to shower stay fresh body wash, fresh escape with soothing aloe. So this is like my smell good, this is to make me really smell really nice at the end of my shower. Then I'll let you guys know after my shower what my post shower routine is, but that is basically my shower routine. I'm gonna just finish my snacks and brush out my hair and then I'm gonna hop into the shower. Okay guys, so I'm out of the shower. I haven't done my body care yet, but I just wanted to cover up a bit. And I'm gonna do my face now. Um, I'm gonna start off with the Himalayan face wash. It's one of like the simple, more simple ingredient face washes because obviously being pregnant, I wanna make sure I'm safe with what I'm using on my face. But also, I normally do this in the shower. But I'm doing this outside for, just for you guys, just so that you can see. So give this video a like because of all the effort that I'm going through to make it for you guys. And because of the, it's my birthday, so why not? <laughs> with this cleanser, I really like to go into the crevices, you know, and be very gentle around my eyes. So that I can really, truly get everything off. This year, so far, has been absolutely incredible. Um, the beginning was a bit tough because I was just going through a lot. By now you guys will have seen my finding out that I'm pregnant video. And you guys would know that it didn't take us um, as easy as I thought it would to be able to fall pregnant. So I was going through some things, you know, health wise. But uh, I think in general it's been such an amazing year. Especially this summer. You know, like the beginning of the year was 
wow, absolutely amazing. In terms of my working out and my health uh, and eating healthy and stuff, I really, I really was able to achieve that um, goal as, as well as like the working out. And <laughs> looking back, a lot of things from my vision board came through, alhamdulillah. That is why I think it's so important to have a vision board and to um, to make goals because you really manifest it. And I still think it's so important because I actually stick to my resolutions. Um, if you guys ever want a video on the best way to make new resolutions, let me know. But yes, alhamdulillah, everything has been great. Being pregnant is the highlight of my year, I think for sure. You know, Ola is so great that I just like to brag about Ola and what he is doing with my body is insane. So that's really exciting. I'm going in with a second cleanse. This doubles as an exfoliator because it's an exfoliating face wash. So this is by Nivea. Just gonna go in with this one. Yeah, but also it comes with a lot of other stressful thoughts such as like becoming a mom and you know, my life is about to change forever. Like, I'm, I'm never going to be able to go back to just being me and Salman and Piper. Um, so, it's a lot to wrap my head around sometimes. But most of the times it's excitement. And most of the times it's um, just pure joy and bliss. You know what? Um, my year has been great for... My year of 2022 was also just as amazing. And it's like so weird because I'm sure there's things that I also have to complain about. But I try to focus on the positive as much as possible. And I try to really live in the moment. I think that's one um, goal of mine that I really want to emphasize this year is living in the moment. And, you know, being present. Because I can tell with this pregnancy how quick time is going by. And... Um, how little time I have left, just me and Salman, and I'm sure that after that things will change pretty quickly as well. I mean, I've seen kids grow up so fast, and I just don't want to take any moment for granted of my life. And so I'm really practicing a lot of gratitude, a lot of being present and in the moment, a lot of spontaneity. I really, really miss my family a lot, especially now that I'm pregnant, because... It's something that you just want your family to be around for, you know. I'm just going to pop in my contact lenses quickly. One of my main goals for this year is to be the main character of my own movie. Which I used to do a lot as a kid and I realize that now. So I think it's very healing for me to tap back into that side of myself from when I was younger. I'm the main character of my own movie today. <laughs> And even though I'm alone, I, I don't feel lonely anymore. Like in the beginning when I first moved to PE, I felt really lonely. Now, I, I think I can be with myself more and I actually really enjoy my own company, which is a good thing. So yeah, but I also do crave community a lot. And I think I'll talk about that when I, I'll talk about that more. Okay, so I've actually never used one of these. So I'm quite excited to do that now. You know, oh my goodness, <laughs> I look crazy. Uh, wow, it feels great though. Feels like it's a bit too close to my eyes though. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I can talk like this. Are you guys gonna laugh at me? Okay, I think I'm just going to put you guys down and be quiet for this portion of the video because I look insane <laughs> um, so yeah I'm going to bake though I'm gonna finish the cake while this sits and please don't mind the color it's gray last night I was baking in the dark and I accidentally dyed the icing gray
Well, that was interesting. Very nice. I'm gonna keep some for someone. Maybe he can use the rest of this tonight. Um, so as you guys saw, I was with the cake and it obviously didn't turn out great. Um, that's to be expected. I'm not, I'm not great at decorating cakes yet. It's easy skill that I think that I could, I could uh, practice that and get better at. And yeah, the, I'm not really too worried about the grey icing. Very funny that that happened. But it's just for me. It's literally a cake just for me. And I love fondant. That's why I put it on. So I really don't mind what it looks like. It was more the act of baking and create, decorating it. It was more fun for me. So yeah. In terms of post skincare, I'm going to do just some... SPF. It is rainy outside, but still sunscreen is always very important, especially when you're pregnant and it's you're prone to hyperpigmentation. The face mask actually really, really helps. Eh? It feels so nice. <gasps> wow. Papa, kiss, kiss, mommy. Thank you. Another thing is spirituality. So I think that having this pregnancy especially during ramadan i did feel a bit closer a bit more closer to allah Ta than normal and i still think that i have practiced the art of making dua and connecting with allah a lot so alhamdulillah i'm glad that i'm keeping up with that but i do think that it's still something that i feel really guilty about um not doing enough of like i feel like i should be able to make salah on time more often and um, i should be reading more quran i have been picking up the quran here and there since ramadan but i honestly i really need to do better at my relationship with allah that has been on my goal like forever and obviously it will never it will never be a goal that i reach we can never worship Allah enough, so you know, may Allah guide me always, may Allah always keep me close to Him and on the straight path and never allow me to stray from the path, I mean, and may Allah grant the same for my baby. I think that, especially with having a baby, I think I want to create a religious environment and I want to be a good example to my child of you know practicing islam because essentially they do what they see you know they you a lot of learning for children is modeling what their parents do so i think it's really important that salman and i can salat together and i uh he we try to recite out loud more often so that the baby can hear as well because i know that the baby can hear now so that's exciting um oh um, next i'm going in with some body butter i'm also not really um fully i haven't really fully developed a full skin skincare routine just yet and that's why i haven't done a skincare video uh but i just like to do this and spoil myself i also want to um step into my feminine this year that's something that i've really been thinking about especially with uh, the upcoming birth that i have um, I know a lot, obviously as a doula, I'm very interested in birth and so I know the power that women have inside them. We, we really truly hold feminine power within us and I really want to start tapping into that a lot more this year leading up to the birth. So a lot of my workouts uh, revolve around preparing for the birth as well and if I'm going to prepare physically I want to prepare mentally as well so i really want to step into my feminine power i want to do things that make me feel more feminine and womanly so that includes getting dressed like i said in the first trimester especially when i was so sick i really didn't dress up at all and so i really want to make an effort to dress more feminine so man loves it when i wear dresses and things like that so earrings you know doing my hair curling my hair some days I really want to try and fully indulge in the feminine and you know just dance and be free and spontaneous and also lazy sometimes if I want to be lazy because I feel like never after this baby comes will I ever get the chance to really be lazy and do nothing so I'm honestly appreciating and, and cherishing those 
nothing moments, those moments where nothing is really happening. And that is what I say about romanticizing the mundane. It's something that I've really been doing and really enjoying as well. Um, I also want to pick up some hobbies. Baking, decorating included. Decorating cakes sounds like a really good hobby. I'm very creative, so I haven't painted or drawn since high school, which is so, so, so bad. So I really want to get back into drawing and painting. So now that I'm done with my skincare, I'm just going to pause to make salad and then I'm gonna do my body care and get dressed. I'm gonna do some body care. So first, of course, is some deodorant. It's just Garnier deodorant. And then we have Vaseline. This is the one with nourishing argan oil. It's like a new one that they released. Very good, makes my skin feel extremely soft. And the argan oil helps reduce the appearance of stretch marks as well, which is great for pregnancy. Um, then on my body, I'm also gonna use some tissue oil. This is a rose scented tissue oil. Of course, my handy dandy tissue oil for my belly as well. And then I top that all off with a spritz of baby powder. And then I'm just going to get dressed into my under garments. As in my long black tie, a long sleeve black top because these are the basics that will go under my outfit. All the hijabis know about these. Okay, so it's quickly getting darker and darker and darker now. So I'm going to do my makeup. I was going to do my nails and I plan to do my hair today. So I can just always do my nails and my hair tomorrow. I find that in the pregnancy, which is actually a good thing, I'm having a lot of redness around my T-zone area and I think that's where the pregnancy glow comes from, you know, because there's, there's like extra blood flow throughout my body. So it is a good thing, but like when I'm putting on makeup, I tend to cover it and I don't know if I should cover it or not because it's like a natural blush. It's just my lips of a mask. The one you took off your face? Yeah. But there's still stuff on it. It'll make your skin feel so soft. Okay. How long must I keep it on? Just keep it on until you're done showering. But I have to wash my face. Yeah, when first. you Oh yeah. I can wash your face first, then I can put it on for you. My flowers. And some chocolate. And lemon meringue. Hi guys. Okay, so it's been a couple of days. <laughs> um, I completely forgot to end this vlog. And I also happened to leave my camera at home when we went out for my birthday dinner. So all of that, I don't have any footage of that. I can pop up some pictures of me and Salman on my birthday. My first birthday being pregnant. No, I didn't get to do my nails. So I thought I would just uh, catch you guys up on the rest of the things that I want to speak about uh, in my birthday vlog and then also end this video here. What I wanted to speak about was the feeling that I have of lack of community. They always say that it takes a village to raise a child, especially in Islam. And um, of course, the, I'm not saying that there isn't a, a village here in PE, but it's kind of like our, our particular village is in Cape Town, we feel, at least we feel that way. Um, so sometimes we really do uh, crave 
that sense of community one of my goals that i want to do is to really uh get involved in the pe community and create my own community uh the side because at the end of the day i, I don't want to feel homesick all the time and also um it's i kind of right now i want to look at the positives and right now i kind of do have the best of both worlds because pe is so slow and calm compared to cape town and I mean, we're better to raise a child than some way calm, some way that you can um, really let them be free without worrying too much because Cape Town is very, very, very busy. This year coming up, I do want to prioritize therapy again because I haven't been very consistent with it. And I don't feel that there's anything in particular that I'm struggling with right now. But... I know that uh, becoming a mother is obviously a huge change in my life and I do want to prioritize my mental health even during this pregnancy because like I said it's very very important that I'm in a good mental space while being pregnant um, as well as going into motherhood you know transitioning from woman girlhood to womanhood to now motherhood so it is a very big step for me and I definitely want to uh, be more consistent about my therapy and not just neglect it. But I'm still going to edit it to the best of my ability and I'm going to post it for sure because these kinds of birthday chicken videos is more for myself than anyone else. So I don't really want to put too much pressure on myself for it to be like aesthetic and well edited and well filmed or anything like that i'm literally just talking as thoughts pop up in my head so that's why it is a bit messy but um i really do hope you enjoyed this one and i hope that you stick it out with the rest of the pregnancy diaries inshallah and then also i would like to encourage you to follow me over on instagram if you enjoy content from me because there i will be posting more you know in the real time whereas these types of videos i'm shooting way ahead of time and so sometimes in the videos i might appear to be you know four months pregnant but in real life i'm actually seven months pregnant or something i could still be posting pregnancy content when the baby is already here so definitely um go and follow me on instagram but other than that i wish you guys the best week ahead and may you make the best out of the rest of this year inshallah and with that i'm just going to finish up my nails but i'll be saying bye for now Mwah. To my future self, um, I'm sure at that point I'll be very busy with kids and family. I'll have a family of my own. And so to my future self, know that you can still value yourself and your own time. And it's always important to make sure you prioritize your self-care and what makes you happy as well in amidst of the chaos. You know, give 99% to your family and keep 1% for yourself. And maybe a little bit more for your career. But in general, know that during this time when you were alone and you did have the time to do whatever you want, you did make the most out of it. So don't look back and regret. Just know that right now, you're living. I'm living. <laughs>